Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and oh boy, I am in a very, very, very good mood today because, sir, I've been talking about my new PC. Finally got it ordered through work the other, like, yesterday. D yeah, yesterday. And I was like, okay, cool. It's gonna take, like, a week to get processed and arrive. Maybe longer. It's arriving today. Like... I, I got the email saying, yeah, it'll it'll be there and like, um, should we do Gradient? Nah, um, da, 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 boss rush? We could do Beast as Keeper, let's try to do that. Um, yeah, like, it's just like, yeah, um, it's gonna be here today in like, four hours. <laughs> like, it's the quickest, like, process to arrival I've ever damn seen. And oh boy. Oh boy, is it an absolute... What the... What, what are these things? Why do I keep seeing these little gremlin things? I guess I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, like... It got processed and it's gonna be here so soon. Also, keep it with a hard hat. I'm liking... I'm liking the style got going on here. I'm liking it. Um, yeah, it's just crazy fast. And yeah, this thing's gonna be an absolute beast of a machine. Like... I, I've managed to, like, sort of somewhat get it through work. Um, I, I'm still paying for the vast majority of it, but I'm, like, because I'm buying it through work, I'm getting some money off of it, and then I'm not having to pay tax on it, too, which means it's, like, way cheaper than it should be, which is awesome. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's basically almost the best consumer-grade PC you, like, money can buy. Like, the, the only thing that isn't the absolute top of the market currently is the CPU. And even then, that's only because I heard that the Ryzen 9 or i9s aren't actually that much better in terms of their cost to performance. So I've got a Ryzen 7 700 3XD or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of it. It's something along those lines. Oh, no. They had a pushable. No. <laughs> they had a pushable one. Also, there's two of them that have just given up. Yeah, so, um, and then I'm getting a 4090, oh boy, it's 64 gigabytes of RAM, 4 terabytes of SSD, oh, I'm excited, it's gonna be an absolute beast, absolute beast. I've, I've been having definite buyer's remorse just because of how much it's costing, but I'm not, I, I think that buyer's remorse is gonna swiftly go away when I actually get to use the thing, and I'm like, damn, this is incredible. Okay, so that didn't really do anything to any enemy that mattered. Pop batched in case. This guy's a little bit tricky. Yeah, that soft thing didn't really do anything, did it? Okay, this is a little tricky. There's a lot going on right now. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay, it's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. But yeah, as for the question of the day, what's got you excited? What's got you hyped? Again, it's a question I've asked before, but I feel like it's one that changes a lot between days. And if you don't want to answer that question, what's your favorite kind of dog or cat or animal? <laughs> I'm just throwing, throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks today. I'm in a really good mood. Really good mood. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll, I'll be honest with you, don't don't hold R very often, but <laughs> that's definitely one where I'm going to. Ooh, this is kind of an interesting idea. Hmm, I should probably just just spam it and get as many coins as I can from it because it does it does stop working after a while. You'll probably hear me spamming the hell out of my spacebar. Sometimes it gives you a key or other stuff. Let's spam the hell out of this thing as much as we possibly can. Eventually it stops giving you coins. It's like got diminishing returns. So we just gotta spam the hell out of this thing for a little bit and get ourselves enough money to buy from the shop, maybe. Oh god, my hands are hurting. I'm going for it. Oh my god, I'm getting hand cramp. <laughs> RSI the item. Oh my god. But yeah, it's I, I don't think I've ever been more excited for something. Because like the PC that I've got now, I've had about four and a half years. And it was decent when I got it, but it was still like mid-range. It, it only cost me about £1,200 or something like that at the time. So it wasn't like a super high-grade PC. This one's on another level. Like, my entire PC that I currently have when I bought it 
costs less than just the graphics card I'm getting. <laughs> but like I said, it's because I'm getting a, quite a lot of money off of it through work. Like, I'm not having to pay tax on that thing. It's saving me so much money. Like, so, so much. I feel like I'm going to absolutely break the hell out of my uh, spacebar here. Right, I think we'll leave it at that because it's getting a little ridiculous. 22 coins, though. Not bad, not bad. Do you know what? Mm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to play it a little bit more up to 25 because then at least it's the equivalent of getting the quarter. I feel like that makes it feel a little more worthwhile. It's a really annoying item, but it's like inf literally infinite money if you have the patience. I'm sure there's a, quite a few people that min-max the hell out of an item like this. Right, there you go. Now I feel like I've gotten as much value as I'm willing to get out of that thing, because, yeah, 25 cent off the rip is pretty good, and I can always get a little bit more if I need it, but this means we'll have a good amount of money for devil deals if we wish to, or just the shop on this floor. Which is quite nice. What I should have done, re realistically, is looked to see if there was a sack room and tried to use it to play the sack room. Oh, that was kind of cheeky, actually. That was kind of cheeky, my, my good my good chair, my good time fella. Oh, baby. That was just gross. That is way too many spiders to come out of that. But yeah, getting a dime there. Ooh. Ooh, I feel like a high roller right now. Now this has made me feel terrible. This room is very gross. It's actually not as bad as I initially thought, but yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Can we kill this jumping fuck? Thank you. Oh, but yes. I'm in a good mood. What we got going on in here? Bombs and penny. In here we've got... Activates a random non-stat related pill effect. So that's kind of interesting. But I suppose it could be a downside. Because it could give you, like, are you a wizard and stuff like that, I guess. Technically, that's non-stat related, so... Could kind of screw you. I think below is a secret room, but... I'm not going to try it quite yet. But yeah, this is a much better start than my previous, uh... My previous run. I gotta say, getting an experimental treatment and it giving you a tears down and a damage down... When you already don't have a lot of tears is just, yeah... It's... It's cause for... It's cause for a... Do you know? I almost said something. Really, really incorrect there. That was that was almost quite bad. And I'm I'm not gonna say it for another I'm not gonna tell you what I was about to say for another two minutes, because that gets us past the ten minute mark and it means that I won't get demonetized. Which I don't think I'd get demonetized for saying it, but I'm still gonna I'm gonna hold off just in case anyways. Mapping for the next floor is decent enough. Oh god, I can't believe I almost said that. And people are probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about, but You'll find out soon enough. You'll find out soon enough. But, very happy with our money currently. We are sitting atop a spire. A spire of desire. Now we've just got to not absolutely boof this stupid thing. I'm pretty sure boofing is uh, putting stuff up your ass. So maybe not boofing. Maybe goofing is what I meant. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> Right. I'm making myself laugh thinking about the stupid shit I was going to say. Right, we're, we're, we're almost there, people. We're almost past the 10 minute mark. You've got, you've got to wait until 10 minutes to start swearing and stuff, which I don't often do, but... Okay, cool. You got that bitch. Eh, God damn it. Ooh, synth oil as well. I like that. We're trying to do beast right now, aren't we? Or, um, Bosch Rush Delirium. Either or. We'll see how our run ends up turning out here. One second. Yes, I'm a little bit scared with my PC to have to actually build it myself. That's the that's the one caveat. I've not built a PC like that before. I've built like I, I've like worked on PCs before, but I've never like from scratch built a PC. So I'm a little bit scared. I'll be honest. I'm a little bit scared. A little close. Right, I think this is secret room. I'm kind of hoping it is, because that'll give us shortcuts into two rooms. Uh, also, we should... Actually, at this point, I'm probably okay. It's a world card. I don't need to, do I? 
good old grotto beast. Plague of decay. Plague of decay. Thank you. Guppy's paw will uh, will at least grab that for a touch. Just get a little touch on that thing. But anyways, we're past the 10 minute mark now. What I was gonna say is, I was like, that last run, has ne I've never seen a run more in need of a hard R. What I meant is, a hard restart. And then, I was like, mmm, wait a minute. <laughs> hard R has a very, very different meaning most of the time. Let's not say that. <laughs> I was like, oh no, 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 no. That is not what I intended at all. <laughs> oh god, I'm stupid. I do be stupid sometimes. Gosh down. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to hold off on those pennies cuz I don't currently need them and if there's a sack room, we can play the hell out of it. Also, I didn't even mention we got compound fracture, which is one of my most favorite items in this entire game. I absolutely love it. Compound fracture is just so fun. Especially with triple shot, it's even more fun. Triple shot, okay. A single penny in this room. Dude, these flies carried us. Right. Go back. Yeah, we m it's unlikely because we have a, a curse room. Normally you don't get a curse room and a sack room on the same floor. But I still think it's worth checking here. My snotty little boy is not doing a whole lot of good for me, to be honest. But we'll, uh, we'll let him live his life. We won't judge. So here's our shop, at least. Check that out. There's Birthright. What does this Birthright do? One max HP, the max amount of containers is raised to four. I think I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. I'll also take this. It's a Joker. Very, very nice. Got him. And we got ourselves the Swallowed M90, which I think we're okay for, to be honest. But yeah, good shop. <laughs> I mean, keep it with four hearts is just incredible. Anyways, let's let's gather all of these coins. Oh, look at this. My absolute favorite thing. Oh, wait. Didn't work. Okay, so someone made a mod that makes it so that golden pennies just split out into all of the pennies available and they suck back towards you. But they didn't suck back towards us. But it's still more convenient, to be honest, than having it otherwise. But yeah, we're at 49 cent now, so pretty good. Pretty good stuff right there. Uh, secret room. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Second secret room. Could be here. Nah, I'm not going to bother trying to find it now. There's quite a few places it could be, so I'm not going to mess around. Nice. Come in here and we get ourselves. Um, at least we'll take this. But that doesn't really matter to us, I don't think, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think that does anything for us. Um, I guess we take brunch, because why not? Go down to the next floor. And I'm not going to jerk us straight away. Just because I might still get a devil deal here. Um, and also, if I'm going to go into my devil deal, I'd like to be on 45 cent minimum. Because if I'm on 45 cent minimum, that means that if there's a 30 cent item and a 15 cent item, I can buy them both. Which isn't super likely, but it could happen. Got damn crabbeths. Go away, pinch your little crab. Just, just get out of the goddamn ground. Thank you. Leave that penny there on the floor. Again, this is just all for potential sack room players. Well, I'm liking these daggers we got going on here. Ooh, wow. Random room payout of a cracked key. You don't see that very often. Although I don't think that's going to be the room. I just thought I'd go for it. What's this guy spawning? Is this, is this some new stuff that this guy does? He's definitely different than normal. 
Should be picking up my sacrificial blood as well. Hey, we got an apple of pride here. Of pride. The apple of pride, all stats up until we next get hit. Pretty useful. Hermit, I'll just pop. Ooh, chaos. Okay. I think I'll take chaos after going to my devil deal here. Right, let's first of all go and do our boss now. Dude, we're getting nickels and dimes like crazy here. This is great. Good bit of bleeding on this fella. Ah, I didn't, I didn't manage to get him to eat it, sadly. You can get him to eat the bomb. Do a good bit of extra damage to him and stun lock him for a bit, but it doesn't always work. Not so easy. Okay, got rid of you, and last little bit, there you go. We did get the devil deal, so... Unfortunately, our boss items have just been HP ups, which isn't super beneficial to anyone. Um... Double tap launches. Yeah, I'll take that boy. I'll take this boy as well. More HP that I don't need, thank you. And let's let's search for a sack room before we do much else. Always leave the pennies on the ground for now. Hey, we got a sack room. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going with the with the dropping pennies down. Also, actually. One minute. I need to, like, properly... I know this is a waste of bombs, but I have a lot. Okay. Well, that solves a lot of problems. Dude, the money right now is ludicrous. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, we got redemption. Entering, I, I kind of forget about redemption. Entering a new floor after visiting a devil deal room and not taking any item or pickup grants the damage up at soul heart. Fine. Oh, that was a Yera. Okay, didn't know that. Pretty, pretty useful. Very, very nice little Yera there. Come on, Minus, do your work. Kill that bitch. Okay. Oh, Apple of Sodom. I forgot about Apple of Sodom. Damn it. Okay. You are dead as well, my good lad. That's been a good start. I mean, Boss Rush might not be too plausible now that I've pissed around for so long, but... Excuse me, don't teleport me around. Okay. They have a golden penny. It's supposed to suck them back towards you, so I'm not quite, quite sure why it's not doing that, but yeah. Money's looking real good now. Real, real good. We, we've been to the shop. I think we can probably just skip the rest of this floor, to be honest. We spent long enough here. Got the library certificate as well. Okay, dude, this is amazing. Um, I'm trying to think what we want here. So, <sighs> probably, okay, so we've got some options here. So we can either take Book of Virtue so we still get to keep our normal active. We can take Book of Jubilees. Every seventh room cleared grants either seven pennies, a random heart, a high quality coin, a random high quality heart, a holy mantle, and every fourth, uh, 49th room grants the, uh, a bed. Or we can take like a really good book. Um, removes a random item and spawns three items of the same quality. Only one can be taken. I can't take that because it would take my birthright or whatever. Or I could take some of the other passive items, like Friend Folio. Or I could just take a book and not not um, use my thingy anymore. But that's just kind of dangerous, isn't it? I think I'm going to take... I think... I don't know. This is this is tricky. Book of Jubilees or Book of Virtues. Both are very good. 
Um, I think I'm gonna take Book of Virtues. It makes more sense because I'm just gonna get more wisps, and that's gonna be more protection. Um, hold up, hold up. Where's my fourth heart? Just wait a second. Remove birth right. There you go. I don't know what happened, but that definitely wasn't supposed to disappear. <laughs> uh, we just go back and get our Joker card, don't we? I almost forgot about that. Okay, we might not be doing boss rush this run. The money, man. The money's been redonkulous. Ooh, wait. Hmm. I may have fucked it here, unless I get a coin in here, which I'm hoping I will. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I thought I'd fucked up really bad there. I can get out using the iframes anyways, okay. Almost fucked it there. I keep I, I forgot about my my enraged boy. I need to be using him more. I need to be tap shooting. Right, there's my Joker card. Finally got that back. Grab my penny here. And very much away we go. This has been a very very intriguing run thus far. We've we've made a lot work that I wasn't expecting to work, and I'm I'm very happy with that. One second. Right. Let us go, let us go. But yeah, I'm excited to build my PC. It's gonna be scary, but fun. Get secret room while we're here, why not? Okay, not much good in there. And down we go. Beautiful. So far, a very good run that we have. Uh, we'll do Joker and see where it takes us. It did take us Angel, and we got Spirit of Acceptance as well. Oh, boy. Spirit of Acceptance is amazing. And we got Quad Shot. Okay. Quad Shot, I'll be honest, probably not the best thing for us to gain, um, considering. I'm going to try and kill the Angel just in case Spirit of Acceptance spawns another item, which I don't even know if it can, but I'm going to give it a go regardless. Yeah, fire rate is a bit abysmal now. Okay, can't even spawn a key piece anyways, I'm stupid. Spirit of Acceptance is incredibly good. Basically, whenever an item spawns, there's a 50% chance another unknown item spawn. Dude, my, my fire rate... Oh, dude, my fire rate is very bad. <laughs> and that's with my Vibrant Bulb stats. Without it... Okay, I don't actually lose that much from it, okay. This is going to be rough. Quad shot might have uh, slightly, slightly gimped us here. Friend Folio, good job we didn't take that before. Thanks, we got it already. Oh my god, my maximum fire rate is very, very bad. So much money. Not even an item we want. Hell's bells, people. I'm scared. I'm currently very worried. Well, hello. Interesting, interesting. Well, we can do boss rush now, that's good. We don't have to rush for, to get to boss rush, which is quite nice. Okay. I guess I'll do the rest of this floor now that I don't have to worry, but I'm a little... little afraid. 
I need to gamble on tears ups here. What makes you larger? Not ideal, but not the worst. <laughs> My god. Like, let's have a look. So, one, two, three. I have a three second fire delay. Right, tears up in the boss trap room, please. Come on. B fib's good. Tears up. Oh, ha, ha, okay. I was gonna say we've saved the run, but that gave me, like, nothing. <laughs> that gave me, like, the tiniest, midgiest bit of fire rate increase, so... Eh. Not quite the saving grace I hoped for. Actually, once we've got our, um, thingy, item charge, it's not bad. Not ideal either, but not terrible. God damn. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Okay, so that, that was good, but not the best. Ooh. Stephen Floor, you say? Mmm. Stephen Floor's an interesting one, because I do have some items that I'd be willing to trade away. Golden bombs, okay. Okay, let's get in here as well. I need to just go into every room I possibly can that could potentially have an item just in case now. Black sack. Damn. Oh, we got some froggies in here, do we? Hello, Mr. Froggies. Boom, full heal. Oh, my God. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, well, first of all, let's go like this. This and then double our bombs. Two of clubs. Then let's pick up this and then this. We've got two cards against humanity. We'll pop one down in here. A card against humanity. Now we've got to see if we can get petrified poop. I don't even know why I'm doing this, to be honest. There's not much I can gain out of this, but. It's just satisfying, isn't it? I hope there's a sack room, maybe. <laughs> See if we can do anything with that. That's a lot of money on the floor here. Maybe there's some. I guess maybe there's some luck pennies about that we can gain. Got a lot of flies going as well. That's something. Give me a tears up somehow. Oh my god. Okay. I don't even know what happens if you use a Cardian Humanity in the same room again. I'm just going to try it. Yeah, it does nothing. Okay. I had to, I had to see. I had to see. Okay, so, I mean, first of all, maybe we should done it. <laughs> Stephen Floor, I'm unsure about. I think I might go to Stephen Floor, you know. Right, donate as much as we can. You watch, it's going to let me donate, like, three coins. I just know it. Oh no, it's 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 going. Okay, good amount there. Not bad, not bad. But we should get that key really. We're a little bit low on keys. 
Good. And yeah, back back we go. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do Stephen Floor. We've not done Stephen Floor in a while. I think with having a lot of money, we do have some items we'd be willing to trade here. There's a few of them I, I, I don't want to trade away. But I'll be honest, I'm, I, I'd be I'd be just fine if it got rid of quad shot. <laughs> cool. Back up to full money. Quite a lot of excess here. It's fine. It is what it is. And we've got our um, Mama Mega Explosion thing. Hey man, you all right? You look parched. <laughs> Do you need a glass of water? I probably get get one for you. Nice. I love that transition. It's so good. Right into the future. Right. What do you want? Do you want synth oil? I can't give up my damage. Ah, bugger you then. Yeah. Guess that happened. Right, remember, don't go into the secret room until we're ready. Good. I'm hoping we get a good few of these uh, enemies. These, well, not enemies, you know what I mean. The... Oh god, I have a tricky room there. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so sketchy, this. Get him, demon. Come on, little faces. Where art thou? Is this just the same room again? I think this is just the same room again. Oh my god. How has this run been so gimped? Get back here, you. Okay, cool. There's so much money around as well. Not that I need any of it, but... We wanted extra money, it's there. A louse. Lovely. You want Book of Virtues? Oh, you want breakfast, good stuff. That's just another fucking book! <laughs> you dickhead. What does this book even do? Okay, no, we don't want that anyways. Hey, rerolled. Defibs I'll get rid of, defibs are kind of meh. Hey, I, I guarantee damage up that works every room versus one every other room is much better, I think. Get away, troll bump. More of those faces, please. I do love this floor. The design, the music, everything about it is just so good. I didn't realise how heavily it was based on the End is Nigh until recently, but it's it's good. It's like proper thematic. Like, I knew it was based off the End is Nigh, but I didn't realise how heavily. It's very heavily based on the End is Nigh. Like, there's a floor called The Future. It's got this sort of music. A lot of these enemy stylings. Why do you always want synth oil? Fuck off, it's my synth oil. Nah, pal. What the... Ain't this some shit? <laughs> Take fucking mutant spider off me, please. <laughs> or like, one of my HP ups. It ain't fair, man. It ain't fair. I don't even think there's going to be many of them left at this point. We've seen like five so far. 
It, yeah, it also annoys me they can take a passive item and give a give an active. That really irks me. Chariot is what it is. This might this floor might have been an absolute bust for us, you know. Might have been an absolute bust. Okay, he's eating stuff. Gotta be careful. Okay. One last room. Very highly doubt that this room's gonna have one of those faces in it, but we'll see. It does not. Ooh, that was a good dagger. Yeah, I got damage up out of that. That was nice. Right, now it's time to look for secret room. I'm not wholly sure exactly where it would be, to be honest. Um, I'm guessing over here. But I'm not entirely convinced with myself. Right, so I'm thinking it could be here. There we go. Bunch of items. Defibs we got back. HP we got back. Another book. Um, I don't know what book this is. What did I just get? Um, any book active will now be bu- uh, Any book active used will now be buffed. Completing a chance room will award a book. Multiple copies um, stack depending on the used book. Interesting. Um, okay. Not ideal, but fine. And I guess we can get some of our money back. Not that we need it. I don't even know if I'm ready for boss rush, you know. I'm not very strong. I'm going to go back and do this challenge room to, to get a book, I guess. Every 30 shots to fire attack. If I, if I weren't so reliant on these stats, I'd take that, but I'm pretty reliant on these stats right now. Okay, this guy's an absolute pain. I, my fire rate isn't good enough to time these shots correctly. There you go. Okay. We get ourselves Bomb Book and Book of Sin. Okay, so how exactly does this book thing work? Any book active use will now be buffed. What does that mean? Buffed how? Does it say? Okay, drop an additional um, book of sin pickup. Does this one have a an extra use? It does. Gain uh, a bomb. Gives a bomb synergy for the rest of the floor. Will give Giga Bomb equivalent of the number of bomb. What? Will give Giga Bomb equivalent. I don't really know what that means, I'll be honest. I don't think I, I can keep any of them anyways. This is a bit sad. At least we got two books there, I guess. Right. Keep it going, I guess. This has been a pretty weird flaw for us, really. Pretty weird one indeed. And then this, we have no idea if it has an additional ability because it's so long. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think we're kind of in the shit here. We're kind of in the shit. I'd like to say we're not, but I'm not all that convinced. I mean, we do a good amount of damage when we hit, but we just hit so rarely. Why is there just troll bombs spawning all the time? I'm a little confused by all of this. Oh, I think troll bombs were from my um, my let me get them wisp. Not let me get them. My book of virtues wisp. 
Okay. Down we go, I guess. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned <laughs> right now. I am concerned. Okay. Now we've got to see if we can make something work this floor. I mean, the good thing is we have a few extras helping us out along the way. We have quite a few different things that are just useful in general for us. Still spawning troll bombs on occasion. Seems to be that wisp in the middle. Golden pill is so risky, but I think I have to just wail on it and hope for the best for tears ups. Perks. Goddamn sheet. Might as well go in here while I'm, uh, winged. We gulped our trinket, at least. That's something nice. We can take whatever trinket was in here. Nah, we'll take whatever trinket was over here. Which is the... This one's decent. We'll take this. Okay. Completely missed with that. Minos, could you, like, stay on one target? He's got, like, ADHD or something, this guy. Um, I guess I'll try out one of these things. People say I should use these more often. Blank letter yeah. Dial. Cool. Yeah, a big fire rate boost whenever I'm firing to the right. Still not big enough to be useful. Ah, that's actually pretty good. More reasonable. I always thought they lasted for one room, but someone pointed out they last for a whole floor, so thank you to whoever that was. Hourglass. Yay. Two of clubs. Good old two of clubs as well. Oh, get out of here with your summoning bullshit. The easy way or the fun way. I'm sorry. I took the easy way. Um, let me grab this for now. We'll try and use it on our item room, wherever that might be. Wow. Really? I have all this money, and you're like, here's a single battery? Come on, that's a bit rude. Ah, <sighs> right. It's been a bit of a struggle bus of a day today. Oh, hello there. That is unprecedented. And we got two of them as well. We got Luna, which is pretty valueless. Neptunus. Oh, Neptunus is actually pretty goddamn good for us. Um... I'll see what we are going on elsewhere, but then I'll probably spend a lot of money on that, dude. Okay, Neptunus is very nice for us here. Virus. Antigrav. Okay, Antigrav's not bad. It's a pretty big fire rate bonus, despite it being a little inconvenient to use. Look, Penny, nice. Yeah, Luna, unfortunately, doesn't really do anything for us if we're going to go Beast. Which I haven't even decided if I'm going to do yet. Wait, I can't do Boss Rush and Beast. I have to pick one. I'm, I'm going to do Boss Rush. Right. Okay, with my D6, I'm going to go reroll my shot. That's the only thing I can re-roll at the minute. What you got in here for us? The ladder. Huzzah. Not very useful for us, but hey-ho. Range down. Doesn't really matter. 
Oh, right, we finally have some semblance of a build that works. Right, that's it for this floor. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, that was nice. Um, it doesn't matter which path we take here, so let's go Dark Path so we can go Delirium and get some damage. We'll take both of these. That's Damocles. Little Delirium. Pet peeve. Damocles, baby. Mmm, this is tricky. I I wanna I wanna take Damocles because it's just fun. That's what I'm gonna do. It's just fun. Libra. Okay, Libra's not bad. Lard isn't great. Randy the Snail's fine. Oh, there was, there was Parasite and Cricket's body. That would have been the laggiest fucking thing, but so fun. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with Libra, I'll be honest. Put me in a good mood. This run's actually, like, somewhat plausible now. It's very laggy, mind you, but somewhat plausible now. We can do that with uh, Neptunus, which is very, very nice. The lag is pretty unbearable, but unfortunately that's just Compound Fracture plus playing with mods. That's just the life that you've got to accept that you live now. Ow. Unfortunately, that is our uh, thingy set off already. Where are you at, big boy? <laughs> so, what, so what someone needs to do is someone needs to make a mod that disables like the on-hit particle. You see that splash that happens when the fern fragments hit the walls. There's quite a few different tiers that do that and it's visually pretty unnecessary and it seems to be the entire cause of the lag. Like, the little particles that drop off of the tears, and then the splash damage sort of hit effect it does when it hits. We just need to remove those two effects, and it'll, it'll cure up a lot of the lag for certain items. Don't know who out of the bosses. Good old little plum. Damn it, nothing spawned where I was charging up my shots. We got the Herming Boy. Oh, there's a strength card in here. Hell yes. Good old Randy doing his thing. <laughs> spawned it right into it. Gishy gishy. Unleash. Oh, god damn it again, really? Keep prepping a, a big shot for when the enemy spawns and then nothing spawns in that location. Good, okay, we got Weird Steven. Be prepared for Weird Steven. I don't know what my Damocles Book of Virtue Wisps do, by the way. I'm very unsure. There you are. Weird Steven is strange. Beautiful insta kill. This arrow thing is working out. Little arrow key, whatever it was called. Very good for us right now. Welcome to the burn zone. Two angels in a row. Easy. Oh, dude, Libra saved our run. I mean, I say that. We do have Damocles active. We could just die at any point from now on. So, saved is, is a loose term. 
But we should hopefully at least get boss rush done, so I'll be happy about that at least. I think we're almost done, to be honest. Like, maybe two more waves. It's hard to tell when the game's lagging this much. Hey, there you go. Sticky Nickels unlocked. Ooh, I'm super glad I did that. Kidney Stone and Fettered Heart. Not bad. Yeah. Not 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 the most proud of myself that I unlocked Sticky Nickels there. I didn't realize I didn't have those unlocked. Ooh, Kidney Stone with Anti-Grav is a little box. I forget about that. Because it just it, it effectively holds down the shoot button so you can't like, release your tears easily. I mean, it's fire it. Well, it's an all stat sub, it's not just fire it. I'd like it when my guy's constantly looking down now. Even when I turn, he's still looking down. Oh god, yeah, kidney stones maybe gonna be a bit problematic for us here. Little bit problematic. It is what it is, I guess. We're getting a lot of tokens. <laughs> I barely know what's going on over that corner over there. My pet peeve guy was just wrecking him. Really, it's a cursed room. God damn it. Yeah, this guy managed to escape underground. But yeah, if I got Cricket's body or like Parasite there, that would have been a little bit too wacky, I think. Wow, we got three. Three good old books. Sadly, not ones that I want. We're getting a lot of books at the minute. Right, let's keep it going. Fettered Heart's doing some good work. The damage we're putting out right now is pretty ludicrous. Weird how sometimes something like Libra can be so impactful on a run. Most times it's just trash and some runs you're in such a bad spot. Need anything to relieve you from your low, low tears. Um, a red room opened there? Oh, we've got a... We've got a red wisp. Like a red room wisp, apparently. Which I don't really know where I got that from. I don't like all the blood here. Too much blood. This is kind of a horrible room, to be honest. Oh, fucking kidney stone! It's proper screwing me over right now. Kidney stone, why you gotta be like this with anti-grav? Makes for a very laggy room as well. Keep wondering why I can't fire. Oops. Oh, hello, what the fuck? Got a Krampus room. Very unexpected. Riftwood. Ah, of course it was head of Krampus. Why wouldn't it be? Dude, we're getting a lot of red rooms out of this situation right now. Oh, and it's kidney stones procking way too often. Come on now. Chill out for a little. I mean, it kills the room, but goddamn does it kill my frames. Good. Oh, there's this. Ah, oh, I was like, there's still a boss left. How? It's the mini guy. Little mini fella. Oh, dude, we have an incubus right now from Little Delirium as well. Not helping with the lag. Die, fella. Come on, boss. Where are you at? Like, I can't be this way, I don't think. 
Oh, kidney stone. Why? You're, you're just pop popping up so often, my dude. Okay, it is that way. Wow. Okay, so I kind of messed up. I went the, the very much long way around here. I could have saved myself a lot of time by using the secret room as a shortcut by the looks of things. One good thing about Kidney Stone, I guess, though, is it gives us an all stats up rather than a massive fire rate increase. Bugger off. Guess I should open this. Just in case. Ah, it's a mega troll bomb. Here we go. Off screen indicates such a good mod as well here. You have to see how many enemies are in the room and what's left and stuff, especially for bosses. Very, very nice. Okay. You are dead. Oh, what what items could you give me? I'm liking when we get three items like that. It's pretty satisfying. <laughs> or four. Oh, boy. Let Kidney Stone do its thing for a second. And to see how good this liar is. La lie? Liar? Lair? I can't remember what you call it. I just need to blow the hell up of these. Okay, I can't. I can't. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, Kidney Stone, fucking stop! <laughs> I barely know what's happening anymore. Are you chill, Kidney Stone? Are you chill? Okay, that's Herming. I'm gonna take a gamble and stick with that. Fucking Kidney Stone, man! Pissing me off so much. Right. There's a rune in one of these rooms back here. One second. The hell is that? Enemies in the current room will drop souls on death, spawn pickups. Okay. Sounds good. Soul of Samel. I like the idea. And yeah, it actually got voice as well. It's pretty cool. Ah, wrong way, sadly. Okay, this setup seems less laggy as well so far, which I'm liking. Fortunately, yeah, Kidney Stone does keep getting in the way a little bit, but... Just kind of... It's the life we got to deal with. It doesn't seem, like this liar setup doesn't seem anywhere near as laggy for some reason. Very happy about that. Okay. It's like less shots, but we've got herming on them, so we're doing a good job. I like the way that a spear of destiny is also herming for some reason, even though that makes literally no sense. Like sometimes I'm just not firing. I don't really get why. It's working well enough. Ow. Keeps giving me a penny the moment I get hit, though. I'm liking that. Spider eggs and cracked infamy is kind of useful. I right, jump into my web. Hazard. Ooh, duplicate and money. Sounds very useful. What are we going to use that on? God knows. My god, okay, back to lag again. We need to, we need to be on, stick on yellow. We fire less tears, but more manageable. Strength, whatever. Um. Very little understanding of what just happened there. Fucking put the bomb down here, please. <laughs> My god. 
Ah, oh, see, now it's three sticky nickels. I've, I've screwed myself here. Yeah, that was <laughs> to be expected. Another. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Why is there two angel deals? What's this about? Now, Genesis is interesting. Um. Yes, I go down here, then Genesis, right? Okay, that has gotten rid of Damocles, at least. Wafer doesn't matter here, so we'll take that. We got a few books here. Book-wise, I don't really care. I'm not going to keep them. Dude, it's a lot of actives, game. It's a lot of actives. Uh, purity, I think, out of these. Toy drum, yeah. Dude, so many books. Fuck off. Um, yeah, Holy Water's good. Spirit Sword just kind of ruins runs sometimes, so I'd rather take, like, Monstrance, I think. Ooh, we get Grim Buddy. I'm still gonna go with this guy, though. Oh, dude! Why is it giving me so many books? Like, why are my passive items being replaced with a thousand books? This doesn't make any... There's a Nurturing Kit right here. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I am stupid. Proptosis. Fifteen percent chance to fire a confusion tier. Okay, nah, I don't want that. Um, speed damage. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. More books. Okay, so I'm still getting books, but I'm getting the passive ones this time. Um. Go a book of Jubilees, I guess. Parasitoid Tears is good. Burton's pretty interesting here. Chili. Damage. Quince. Nod Leaf, I guess. Eye of a Lyle. That Red King's really good, but it's a little late for it, to be honest. Um, but Gimpy's also not any use to us. I guess I take this. Go with that. Fire it. A revive. Stairway is interesting, but a little late. I saws. I did lose Birthright for this, I'm just realizing. Bit of a shame on that front. Terra, Soul, or Venus. We'll definitely go with Terra. Um, I think this is the best for survivability. We've got... Pills, can you fucking bugger off? Curious, Mars, or Palace? Yeah, we'll go Palace. Kidney Stone's probably fine now. I'll take it. Ooh, dude, this... What's going on here? Mum's knife. I guess. Little Dumpy. Helicopter Boys. Not seen those before. Hellfire. Okay, that's it. That's all, folks. Okay. Bit of a weird one. I don't really know if we've ended up in a better position or worse. Okay, so we just want to try and go for Delirium here. Oh, 
Okay, I feel like this build's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's got some spice to it. I don't know what this book we've got is, by the way. Picking up, um, picking up or using it adds curses while held. Player takes double damage. Oh, fuck. Um, and parents stat up on use. Okay, so this can be really bad for us. Double damage taking with no way to generate coins. Seems pretty scary. Um, you take... I don't know what you took from me there. I didn't see what items it took, but whatever. It didn't seem that bad. Whatever it was. I'm sad that Furton doesn't have a synergy with... Um, with Mum's Knife. Mum's Knife is one of those items that's just kind of a synergy killer, isn't it? But we'll see how this goes. I, c I can't imagine too well, to be honest. Oh, is that three luck pennies there? I think it was. Yeah, baby. Plus three luck, I like it. This has been a, a hell of a wild ride of a run. I'm liking the way that that works. That synergy is pretty interesting. This item turns them into ghosts, so they're, they're literally dead. But then they can still trigger Hellfire, because normally Hellfire keeps the enemy alive um, for a little bit. But this kills the enemy and then triggers Hellfire. So pretty good synergy there. Very nice. It's very nice. But yeah, without ways to generate HP in the boss fight, I feel like things are going to be pretty rough. Got two items there for some reason, not quite sure why, but... Not bad, thank you. But yeah, it's my first time being able to use Genesis in goddamn forever. Not a big fan of Casimus, dude. Guy the longest living animation ever. You're dead, fella. You're dead. Is that a damage up? I think it was. Nice. Puzzle piece as well. Linger bean. Oh, baby. Really in the money now. Yeah, I love that. That's such a good synergy. Very unintended synergy, but good nonetheless. We're leaving pennies around everywhere in case we need to go back and get them. Doesn't help us in the actual fight itself, but let's pretend it does. Dad's wallet, very, very helpful at this stage when there's nothing to buy. Thank you. Managed to open up a secret room there, apparently. Oh, there's a crab in here. Ugh, more crabs. More enemies, what the hell, there's so many. Good old steam sale. Just in, just in the nick of time. Hehehe. <laughs> Uh, the good thing is, we are killing very fast. And we do have a decent amount of protection. Ooh, I took damage there. I don't really know why. Got a lot of money for taking that damage. Again, not really sure why. What you got over here? Ugh. A few stuck enemies. <laughs> Thanks. Crack that bad boy open. No, we won't, because it's over a gap that I couldn't see. Curse of Darkness is kind of screwing me a little bit here. Boss time. Oh, you're dead. Temper Tantrum. Temper Tantrum's kind of good. I think that's a potential chance to take down, uh, like die and not, not die. You stay in the rage mode. Okay, so unfortunately thus far, we've been very much the wrong ways, which I'm not particularly happy with. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. I accidentally used my book too early. 
and hurt myself with sharp plug. I don't actually know what HP I'm currently on, so I'm going to have to just grab HP when I see it. Unfortunately, I don't have four max anymore. Okay. Apparently, I have some sort of curse that did that to me. I, I don't really know what happened there. Another boss. Good, good. He's hellfired himself. <laughs> that was pretty entertaining. But more luck is good. That's a very big fire. Holy shit. I'm liking whatever costume this ring around us is. I think it's palace. It looks really cool. Oh my god. A lot going on right now. Taking more stats where I can get where I can grab them. Oh my god, that fire. Where's the potential last place for this boss? I don't even know at this point. Oh my god. Hellfire's just going nuts. I think it's up and to the right over here. Wait, there's combat in this room, is there? What am I fighting in here? I'm confused. Oh. Hello. Did not see you guys. Another Curse of the Lost. You can't just keep giving me Curse of the Lost, you know. It's not going to do anything. Cool. The fire's going to be useful whenever they go off. Really, it's not this way? Where the hell is... I don't even know where the potential location of a boss is anymore. Like, I don't feel like there's anywhere that I can see where Delirium would be, right? Is it not just me that's a bit confused about this? The location of Delirium seems improbable now. I guess I'll try up here. Nope, not up here the hell game because it can't it can't be any of the rooms to the left because they all lead inside it can't be in the middle it can't be that room over there it might be down here okay yes yeah, it's, it's probably this way then oh bloody these enemies good good at least i can kill them through their thingy okay so th this should be it That room over? Yeah. Okay, yes, it is it. Holy shit, the damage we just dealt. My god. It's just Curse of the Loss over and over. Okay, I lost a Holy Mantle that I didn't know I had. That's kind of nice. My goodness, this guy's so hard to hit right now. He keeps moving the moment I launch my... Uh, my knives at him. Just needs to sit still for like two fucking seconds. Okay, we got him. Wow, okay. That somehow worked out for us. I wasn't expecting to get Delirium on this run, but Genesis actually came in clutch and gave us a build that was less laggy and more plausible. We feel refreshed, thank you, I guess. Um, but there you go. Hope you guys did enjoy that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.